all welcome to this course on ppc today we will be learning about erp implementation or erp implementation with a case study where which was successful and which was a fail so we are including two case studies over here one is of a success story which is of cadbury dairy milk and the second one is of the same milk chocolate but of a different company hershey's enterprise resource planning or erp is a business management software which is usually a suite of integrated applications that a company uses to store and manage data from every stage of business which includes the production planning cost and development the manufacturing the marketing and sales the inventory management the shipping and payment so based upon this the erp implementation success can be seen in cadbury dairy milk or when we go to the cadbury we can see that or based upon the company's background which was created in 1905 by the end of 19th century or by 2009 it was a completely a brand each and every household knew about cadbury dairy milk so british cadbury is a british multinational confectionery company which was owned by mondelez international it is the second largest confectionery brand in the world after wrigley's which had the founder to be john cadbury which was founded in 1824 in uk and the key brands are as you all know it is dairy milk five star bon vita bon vile oreo celebrations picnic and bites erp implementation so when cadbury turns out in a recent years craft implemented sap ERP 6.0, which is system analysis and program development, in what SAP called one of its largest global ERP implementations. Kraft created ERP with reducing operational costs. 11,000 employees were sending data to the company's SAP solution, and it was linked to 1,750 applications by 2008. So, by 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 such application, large marketing area also increased. Same year, Kraft also added SAP's master SAP master data management solution NetWeaver with an eye towards integrating the legacy systems. So when Cadbury was left with a glut of chocolate products at the start of the year, after the installation of a new software or SAP based enterprise resource planning software, the system led to an excess of chocolate bars building at the end of 2005. So the new UK computer is a part of five year IT transformation project called the Probe. which is aimed at integrating the cadbury swaps supply chain purchasing manufacturing distribution sales and marketing systems on a global sap based erp platform the cadbury swaps is aiming for an ultimate savings for the pro project which was its implementation which had been far from the smooth so the project was beset by problems and delays when it was first introduced in australia in 2002 next we come to this example where hershey's was a failure so hershey is also a largest chocolate manufacturer in north america it has a headquarters at pennsylvania with two hershey's chocolate world the chocolate business was started by hershey in 1876 milton h hershey and the hershey's products also sold its products in about 60 countries worldwide so Hershey's sales are roughly 80% chocolate and 20% non-chocolate. Their competitors include the Mars, Nestle, Russell Stover, Palmer, and Nabisco. So when this ERP was implemented, so to enhance the company's competitiveness and customer service, and during the late 1996, the management of Hershey gave its approval to a management project named Enterprise 21. For this, Hershey selected SAP's R by 3 ERP software. Manuagistics SCM softwares and Siebel's CRM software and IBM Global Service, so as to manage integration among these three systems. Overall project cost was US ten billion dollars. The recommended implementation time for the project was four years, and Hershey demanded for two point five years. So Hershey decided to go with the big bang approach instead of phased approach. Hence, when it was implemented, these were all the products which were combined with the Hershey's chocolates. but it was a failure because of this following reasons that is over squeezing of implementation schedules 
big bang approach instead of phased approach mistake of sacrificing system testing for the sake of expediency cut over activities and go live was scheduled in hershey's business business period so the first lesson which we learn from the failure is an erp implementation for project should not be forced into an unreasonable timeline over squeezing of implementation schedules is a sure fire way to overlook critical issues the testing phases are safety nets that should never be compromised and the second lesson is we should never schedule cut over during our busy seasons even in a best case implementation scenario companies should still expect steep learning curves and operational performance dips by timing cut over during slow business periods the company gives itself more slack time to iron out systems kinks it also gives employees more time to learn the business process and systems in many cases it is even advisable to reduce orders in and around the cut over period this tactic tactics is aimed at minimizing exposure to damage caused by the potentially undetected errors and the less than perfectly trained users and there is no doubt that in 1999 was a most difficult and disappointing year for hashes food corporation when the year got off to a slow start due to excessive retailer inventories we fully expected a strong finish in the second half of the year instead the implementation of the final phase of the corporation's enterprise wide information system created problems in the areas of customer service warehousing and order fulfillment these difficulties were exacerbated by a growth in the recent years which had resulted in shipping capacity constraints as a result hershey sales and earnings fell well short of expectation for the year hence these are the lessons which can learn by properly implementing erp it can be a great success or it can be a failure also like hershey thank you